Okay, Google, play a random song on Spotify. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Spotify API to get a list of random songs and then add them automatically to your library with Python. So for this video, we're going to need access to the Spotify API. I made a really good video explaining what APIs are here, so feel free to click that, have a quick watch of it. Um, but in this video, we're going to be using the Spotify API so that we can search for a list of random songs and then add them to our library. We're going to start off by creating our project directory. Now I'm going to call this uh, find random Spotify songs. Um, and then I'll cd into that directory and we're going to create a few files. So the first uh, file we're going to create is run.py and another one called Spotify underscore client.py and essentially run.py is going to be the entry point for our program and the Spotify client.py is where we're going to store all of our Spotify code. Uh, now we've got those files in there, we can just double check by typing the ls command. Um, I'm going to open a text editor in, in this folder. So I'm going to use Sublime for this tutorial today. You can use VS Code, Python, whatever you like. Um, uh, but today I'm going to use Sublime. I like to do this in my Python programs. That is to check that if we're running the main program, um, we're very explicit about what we want to do in that case. Um, in this case, we're going to run the run function. Now you can call this function whatever you want. I can call this, you know, start program, for example, um, but I'm going to call it run. Um, but this is just to be very explicit that when this program is run, we're only going to run the code in this uh, run function. We're going to search Spotify for random songs. Um, and then the second is once we get the list of random songs, then we want to get uh, we want to add those to our Spotify library. It's going to be quite straightforward this program um, there's only going to be a few uh, nitpicks here and there um, but we're going to go through those so don't worry about that um, i'm going to write out all the code here and then we're going to start uh, we're going to implement uh, or put in the implementation details later on so uh, let's just get uh, started and i'll explain as we go along so i know that we're going to have a spotify client and i know that's going to be a class called spotify client uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to instantiate the class. Now, we haven't created this class yet, and this is exactly what top-down programming is. Uh, we're going to create this class a bit later on. We don't have to create it now, but we can make assumptions about how it's going to work. And then we put the implementation details in later on. But essentially, we know that when we create this class, it's going to give us back a Spotify client. And on that client, we're going to have methods that are going to allow us to get the random tracks and then add them to our library. Now this Spotify client is going to take in an API key, right? Now you're probably thinking, hey, let's copy the API key and put it in here directly. Uh, so when we instantiate the class, we have the client uh, with the API key. Um, please don't do that because never you should never code your API or hard code your API keys in your program files. Uh, when it comes to sharing this or you know putting, pushing out to production, never ever have any secrets. Um, stored as plain text. You should never do that. They should always be stored somewhere safe. Um, and typically on production systems, what tends to happen is you store it in what's known as your environment or in your environment variables, right? Um, so we're going to assume that we have an environment variable called Spotify auth token. And what we're going to do is we're going to extract out the API key from that environment variable. Now Python provides us a handy way uh, to do this. So I've imported the OS library at the top. And then what you do is you type os.getenv and then you type the name of your environment variable. Cool. I'll show you how to populate this later on. Um, but for now, just know that what we're doing here is quite nice because we're not hard coding any API key or pulling down the value of the API key, which we're going to store in the auth token. Um, uh, we're going to uh, pull that from the uh, environment. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called random tracks. We're going to assume that this is going to return back an array. And we're going to assume that there's going to be a method on our Spotify client called search random tracks. And it's going to just return back a list of random tracks for us. Um, again, notice I haven't implemented any of these. We're going to implement those in a second. Um, I probably should call this get random tracks. That's quite nice. And then what we're going to do is we know that random tracks is going to return a list of track objects, um, but we only want the track IDs. 
So for that, I'm going to use a list comprehension in Python, which is going to extract out the ID from every track object we get back. What I mean by that is typically a track object would probably consist of, uh, it's going to probably look like this, right? So you're going to have, uh, each track's going to have an ID, it's going to have a name, and it's going to have other information that Spotify is going to return. But all we really want is the track ID, right? So to extract out the track ID, we use a list comprehension. So what we're saying is we only want, for every track in the random tracks, we only want the track ID and we want a list of those. So by the end of this uh, execution, what will happen is we're going to end up with, you know, uh, basically a list of track IDs. So it's going to look something like that. So the next thing we do is now we have the track IDs uh, or now we have the list of uh, <laughs> once we get the list of random of random, that makes no sense. Once we look at this of random tracks, we want to add them to our library, right? So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a variable called was added to library. And we're going to set that equal to Spotify client dot add tracks to library and in that we're going to pass in our track IDs right so this function that we're going to create in a second um, is going to take in a list of track IDs and it's going to add it to our library and we're going to get it back uh, we're going to get it to return either a true or false depending on whether or not it was able to successfully um, add uh, the tracks to the library so I'm going to put that in a variable uh, was added to library and if we were able to add the tracks to the library we can say if was added to library then what we want to do is for track in random tracks uh, what we'll do is uh, let's just print out uh, the name of the track that we managed to add to the library so we say added track um, name uh, to library cool um, so again random tracks is going to contain a list of tracks returned by spotify what we're doing here is if we were able to add them to the library then for each one of those we're just going to print out hey we were uh, added the track the name of the track to your library so that's quite simple so the next step is to now start implementing some of these methods uh, so creating the spotify class and creating these functions to get random tracks and then add the tracks to the library so now it's time to create the spotify class uh, so we're going to do that by typing class spotify object and then here, this is going to have an init method like uh, every class in Python does. Uh, we're going to have a method called get random tracks, of course, that we created earlier. For now, I'm just going to put pass, which basically means uh, do nothing in Python. We'll implement it in a second. And then we're going to have another uh, function called add tracks to library. Of course, you always need to include self in the parameters. Um, this function is going to take a list of track IDs. Cool. Next thing we're going to do is change a init method uh, that's going to take in the API key, right? So what we need to do is we need to store the API key like this. Um, so that's going so that's going to take our API key and have it available uh, in the rest of our functions. Now to get random songs from Spotify, we're going to make use of two things. We're going to make use of wildcards and we're going to make use of an offset. A wildcard gives us a very easy way to be able to search for a word um, in a pretty relaxed way. So say for example, you were looking for a list of songs that have the word Jackson in the title. Well, that's perfect with this wildcard. What you could do is here you're saying that with the percentage sign at the beginning and the percentage sign at the end and Jackson in the middle, we want anything that contains the word Jackson inside the song title. You can also have a bunch of other wildcards to be able to say that you only want results that have this word at the beginning or a particular word at the end and it's quite powerful what you can do. In this case all we want to do is have a pretty relaxed way of searching for a load of songs with a very simple wildcard and this is exactly what we're going to use for this video. An offset specifies at which point onwards do you want to get the results. So in this case, for example, if I was to specify an offset of 500, Spotify API would return all the songs from position 500 onwards. If I was to specify the offset zero, Spotify would give me all the results from the position zero. The reason why this is important is because it allows us to be a bit more random because what we can do is we can give a random offset on every time we search for songs and we can get a pretty random result back and that's exactly what we want. Now when it comes to getting the random tracks, we're gonna need, uh, as mentioned, we're gonna need two things. So we're gonna need the wildcard um, and then we're also going to need the offset. 
Now the wildcard uh, to generate it, as mentioned, um, we're gonna make use of a library called random in Python. So I'm gonna type random here. And random essentially is gonna allow us to generate a random character. So to generate a wildcard, uh, given that we wanna generate a wildcard, uh, for example, something like this. Uh, we want to generate a wildcard, for example, D or E or you know F, whatever it may be, and then have a ampersand or percentage sign um, before and after the character we generate. Uh, we can make use of the random function. So to do that, uh, we're going to uh, type in random. So first of all, we're going to do an F string, and we're going to put the percentage sign. Then that's going to be this is uh, the placeholder that's going to have the random character that we generate, and then another percentage sign. Now in here we're going to type in random dot choice, and here we're going to specify string ASCII lowercase, and I just need to import the string library too. Now this is essentially saying. Um, Python, I want you to generate a random character from what? Well, we're going to give Python an array of characters, which is going to be the lowercase characters. So this is just a, a nice handy helper function that Python gives us in the string library that gives you a list of the uh, alphabet characters in lowercase. And so random.choice will just pick a random one uh, from, those, from that list, which is great. So that's our wildcard. The next thing we need to do is to build out the query. It's just making use of another library, um, the spot, which is URL.pass and then we'll pass.quote, sorry, and then we'll pass in the wildcard. This is just to pass in a nice friendly uh, URL that we're going to build up in a second to actually search the Spotify API. The last thing we're going to need is an offset. We're going to use random again for that. And for that, we're going to generate a random number between zero and 2000. Um, as mentioned on the Spotify API, uh, the offset has to be a maximum of 2000. So we're just going to gen generate a random number between those two. And now we have everything to start building out our URL. So to build out our URL, I'll type in HTTPS api.spotify.com slash v1 slash search question mark Q equal to the query and then what we'll do is we'll pass in the offset which is going to be equal to the offset we generated followed by the type is equal to track cool just before I continue, I do want to let you know that this video took ages to record, so it would be very helpful if you could give it a thumbs up below, so that way I can continue to make more videos like this for all of you. First, we're gonna make use of the well, the request library in Python, so I'll type that up here, so get the request library, and then we're gonna restore or uh, store the response in this response variable, so we type request.get, we pass in the URL, um, and there's a few other things that we're going to pass in. Um, so we're going to pass in headers, and this is quite important. So the first header we're going to pass in is the content type. And this is just sort of saying to the server that we expect back a JSON response. The second header is the most important header, and that is where we pass in the API token so that Spotify can verify uh, that we're authorized to access the API. And we have that uh, stored uh, in the class uh, that we did earlier in the init method. And then the last thing we want to do is we're going to get back the JSON from this, which is quite handy. Um, we can do that by typing response.json. Now we're going to get back a, um, you know, a bunch of information back from Spotify. And in that response, we're going to have a list of tracks. Now to extract out the list of tracks, uh, we're going to need, um, or I'm going to make use of a list comprehension. And its location is in, if I can get that, God, that's weird, uh, tracks, Ugh. items, almost lost my typing there. Cool. And then the last thing we're going to do is we'll just print out um, saying that, you know, found, uh, you know, however many tracks that we found to your 
found tracks from the, from your search. And then we'll return back the list of tracks. Cool. So that's good. Uh, that's us implementing the get random tracks function. Uh, that looks good. Now this is going to very much follow the same format and it's going to be quite um, or slightly simpler compared to the previous function. So we're going to have the URL that we need to hit, which is api.spotify.com slash v1 slash me slash tracks. Next thing we need to do is we're going to issue out the uh, request. And this is going to be a put request. Um, so we'll type in the URL. And then this is going to have the same headers as above. So what I'll actually do is I'm just going to copy those uh, from above here. And then the last thing is the actual uh, parameters for what we want to add. So uh, Spotify take in uh, a list of IDs here, and then you just need to pass in an array of song IDs that you want to add uh, to your Spotify library. In this case, we've got track IDs that was passed into this function. So we're just going to type in track IDs. And then that's it. Then the last thing we want to do is uh, we're going to return back whether or not that response or the request was successful. And we can do that using this handy helper, which is response.ok. And that just returns true if the response uh, returned to 200. In other words, it was able to add the tracks to your Spotify library. Otherwise, it will return false. And that's it. We're good to go. So one thing I forgot is to import the URL library here because we use that when it comes to encoding the URL. And then we go back to run.py. Um, I'm just going to change that because uh, we already have the, uh, the apostrophe there. That looks good. And then the last thing is we're just going to import the Spotify client because we're using it here, but we haven't yet imported it. So I'm just going to type from Spotify client, import Spotify client. Cool. Now let's, uh, let's run the program. The next thing we need to do is we need to get the OAuth token and you can do that by going onto the Spotify web API dashboard, following through the steps, selecting the scope and then clicking get token. Save that because we're going to need that in a second. So the next thing we need to do is set the Spotify auth token in the environment and we can do that by typing in export Spotify auth token and setting that equal to the, um, the value that we've got from the Spotify web console. And then we can verify that it's been set correctly by uh, a few handy commands. So env will print out all the environment variables, but what I want to do is I want to pipe that to grep so that can filter out for the one that we care about, which is Spotify auth token. Uh, by the way, these are quite handy um, Linux commands that I've picked up over the year. So if it's something you're interested in, in terms of how to use the terminal, and if something that you, you want to know more about, then do let me know in the comments below. I might make a video about it in the future. So on this one, let's type in enter. And then what you can see is the Spotify auth token has been set correctly in the environment. Once you've done that, um, then all you need to do is type in Python uh, run.py. So I'm just going to type that in there and I'll run that command. Cool. Perfect. That worked. So uh, here we've got the print statement that said that it found 20 uh, from you know our search. And then these are the list of songs that it found. So these are going to be interesting. And it says that, you know, it was able to add each one to our library. Um, so let's check it out. So as you can tell, here's the list of uh, 20 songs that were added to the library, which is great. So that worked. And this is really cool because now I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to listen to all of these and just see what I like. And, you know, the ones I don't like, I'm just going to get rid of them. Great. Thanks a lot for watching. By the way, I'm going to make more Python videos and programming videos like this. So if you're interested in that, do click the subscribe button below and do click the bell icon so you get notified as soon as I make and release one of those videos. Also, please do give the video a thumbs up. It will help me massively in growing the channel. It will help it rank higher and that will help others to be able to see the video so that they can benefit like you have uh, too. I am keeping an eye on the comments and someone in the last video actually struggled and I sort of helped them throughout the whole uh, process of them getting the program working. So if you do have any trouble, do leave a comment below and I will reply. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a lovely day and uh, see you later.